Here we are with one of the upcoming names in cosplay. She's been working her way up piece by piece, inch by inch. But for those who are uninitiated, if you could please introduce yourself. Uh, my name is Alexa Hart, uh, cosplayer from St. Louis. St. Louis, Missouri? Indeed. All right. So what first got you into cosplay? You know, I kind of, I, somebody asked me this the other day, and it's funny, the story is long but short. Um, I fell into cosplay. Um, I had dropped out of doing costumes for a long time, and I started researching a costume that I wanted to do. The Dark Knight Rises Catwoman. And randomly I found um, the RPF, which they started talking about the cosplay community. And I was like, what, what is cosplay? I have no clue. I just want to put on a costume. So then I did a little bit of research and I found the cosplay community. And there were so many people that liked doing costume. Um, went to a convention, fell in love, met a ton of people, and that's kind of how I got my start. Very cool. And you've been progressive in, in more ways than one with, with your message, hashtag I am human. Right. Um, the, the I am human hashtag was actually started by my friend Chris Riley. Um, he's a uh, gay cosplayer in Los Angeles. Uh, super great guy. He uh, came up with this great idea um, of I am human. We did a couple of shows where we, we promoted it and uh, the, the message kind of fell off. So I decided to start doing some prints, and I've actually got stickers that I didn't bring with me. Um, but I, I sell all of those to, to kind of raise the awareness. And then um, there's a couple of LG, LGBT uh, nonprofits. Sorry, I was looking at her Loki dress because I love it. Um, <laughs> LGBT nonprofits in St. Louis that I donate all the proceeds to. Okay. So you you've not only used your talent for celebrity, but that celebrity for a higher calling. You could say that, yes. Very cool. Now, was HavenCon the only place you've been able to get your message out? No, actually, uh, I've been pretty lucky to have made some great connections um, just through cosplaying. Um, when I started, this was one of the first conventions that I actually, this was the first convention that I, I did coming out cosplay, which was my, it's become my signature panel. Um, where I talk about um, deciding deciding to make the jump to transition um, through the support of the cosplay community. Um, but after that, I started speaking at a ton of different conventions um, just about that. And then uh, just recently, uh, the day before uh, the Transgender Day of Visibility, the, one of the, the biggest cosplay magazines, Cosplay Culture, um, had done an interview with me back almost over the summer um, about what I do and just being trans in, in the nerd world. Um, they released that issue that I was in. So um, I've had a whole lot of different opportunities to, to kind of push the message. Well, excellent. That's wonderful to hear. Well, thank you for coming out. It's good to meet you. Thank you for talking to me.